Negotiations are going on all of the time. We negotiate on inconsequential things every day, like what to eat for dinner with our spouse, or on more important things such as the terms or interest rate on a mortgage with your banker. We even negotiate with ourselves. If you've ever tried to wake up early, but you just didn't have a good enough reason, you may have woken up and then had the thought, well, I'm awake, but what's another five minutes? Only to conveniently forget to set an alarm and then drift back to sleep. It takes real effort to control that inner voice and to make sure that we reach the agreements that we're looking for in our day-to-day -day negotiations. That's why negotiation is so important. It's everywhere all the time. Even though we have constant exposure to negotiation in our day-to-day -day lives, we are not de facto strong negotiators. What might work well for you with a vendor in a flea market doesn't necessarily translate when you're trying to put together a nice big deal with a very important client. Negotiation is a skill. It takes practice, it takes persistence, but over time you will become more and more proficient with it. The important thing to remember is that negotiation is not a game of domination. Negotiation is about agreement. Let me say that again. Negotiation is about agreement. When you're at the negotiating table and you're trying to work out a resolution, you cannot force the other person to your way of seeing things. You have to get them to work with you, to agree with you on an emotion level, not on a reason-based level. This is very important to remember because thousands of dollars can be lost or gained within a matter of seconds just by using a certain phrase, certain types of words, or a certain tone. As negotiation is such a high stakes game, we prepared the steps, principles, and techniques that you'll need to use within any negotiation to reach a win-win.